we just got in the Siege of Luthadel expansion to the Mistborn House War uh, board game, and I thought you guys might like to see what's inside. So the rules. So in the new uh, expansion, you're playing through the um, events of the second novel, and so there's some changes to the way the game works. Got loyalty tokens, attacker, defender, which pop out. But I think the most interesting part for everybody will be these. So it's the Coloss Mini. This is Vin. We have an entirely new set of house player cards. Some of the houses are the same as before, some of them are different. If you've read the books, you know that um, that's because the houses change their powers, um, their relative power in the society between the two novels. So some of them are the same, some of them are, are different. There's House Venture, La Call. So those are those. An entirely new set of personality cards. Entirely new set of problem cards. And these are Rampage cards of the Coloss. So, but the interesting part about this is how the board is affected. So I've got the uh, House War board here. So if you've played the original game, you'll know, you know that uh, unrest marker here and you've got um, this to track the, uh, the progress of unrest in the, in the um, realm. But, let's see, so you think expansion comes with this, which overlays the unrest section, and it's Vin's journey. I need to put these together. So what we've got here is a number of pieces that fit together and it effectively changes the board. So Vin obviously does Vin's journey. And then you've got the spoils, which are the spoils cards. And effectively what happens is when, you, when the uh, Coloss rampages, uh, you pull one of these cards. And this one says, discard one of your personalities from play or your hand. And so you have you know, the option of doing that. And if you don't want to pay that cost, you can actually buy off the, the rampage problem here. Um, but you've got a uh, defender and attacker um, pieces here. And so what happens is... On the problems, you'll see on each problem, it will say whether it is um, attacker or defender naturally. So if the uh, event is avoided, you don't actually have to do it. But when you solve the event, you get to decide based on what you want, which, which pile it goes into. And at the end of the game, whichever side, defenders or attackers, have the most points effectively uh, you get victory points for. So, But these are the components. You've got new houses, new minis, which are awesome, new problems, and new events. And that is the expansion. Um, it only takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play depending on the number of players, just like the original game. Uh, but you, you do need the original game to play it. Uh, and it uses the components, the board of the old game, and um, that is pretty much it.